Well, I finally got an idea to make a commentary, and since Doom is probably going to be officially revealed soon, I thought why not make a list about what will get me into id software in today's age, or at least make them more admirable in modern times. The id that made Wolf 3D to Quake 3 Arena is really my favorite video game developer of all time, and I really don't think there will ever be a developer to top that id software. I mean, so many great games they've made, but also some of them were pretty genre defining too. Obviously, Doom popularized the FPS genre, and then you have Quake 3 Arena, which is considered to be some of the greatest arena shooters ever made. I'm gonna get into the list, so let's have let's have some fun. So the first one, I want this game to be better than Wolfenstein The New Order. I still believe Bethesda wants its software to deliver Doom to the masses and achieve to make it relevant to them and the gaming industry as a whole. Obviously, there are people like me who knows Doom is definitely a great game to this day and there are writers that talk about how advanced the game was at that time and such, but there's a lot of people who never ever played Doom, particularly the modern FPS crowd like Halo, Call of Duty, Battlefield, um, Counter-Strike, and so on. I'm not trying to say that all players that play those games never touch the Doom game, but you know, these games are pretty much the big boys of FPS gaming in today's crowd. It's going to attract people to the FPS genre rather than Doom, where the Doom games are pretty much dead in terms of popularity. So with that said, let me clarify more about being better than Wolfenstein, since Wolfenstein was a single player driven game I want the single player to be more fun better design like and how the weapons feel the level design basically you know um, maybe more non-linear level design but I don't want to say like more non-linear design really makes it better because sometimes you do need to kind of like keep it more linear but at the same time I do want to talk about the combat engagements obviously you know having good Firefights and you know shooting segments is always a good thing in first-person shooters and then um, Flashing out the bonus modes from the new order because I thought they were a nice feature and also You know fix the problems of TNO for example I always thought the pacing was weird like you get into a lot of shooting and it feels great You want more of it, but you really don't get that at the end of the day you get fetch quests or maybe the quote unquote break sections from the first person shooting gameplay and it just felt awkward at times you know i totally want to see more of uh, first person combat going on because i think that's what most people really want in a fps game but there is definitely room for the vehicle sections or um you know maybe some turret sections or whatever just to keep it varied Number two is having a very powerful and lasting multiplayer experience. I want Doom to have a strong single player component to keep up its fame for having a great single player experience for people who prefer to play by themselves. But FBF, I mean FPS games are so popular with multiplayer and we're seeing a rise of esports too. I'm not really sure if Doom needs to be an esport based game because I do feel like it's kind of wrong if Doom turns out to be successful in that field. It's going to be looked more um, as a multiplayer type of experience and I just feel like that's not right but I do want a good multiplayer experience at the same time. I really think there's just so many people who wants to play a shooter just for its multiplayer component and if you have you know polish and quality for both single player and multiplayer you are going to attract both audiences and the sales will rise up. I think both Bioshock Infinite and TNO proves that there is a decent amount of people who enjoy playing FPS games by themselves so having a strong single player component will attract those people and obviously multiplayer has always been popular in FPS games so it's really going to attract that crowd. It's going to be interesting to see how it is going to please um, players who enjoy arena shooters but also try to introduce um, you know those kind of shooters to the modern crowd since Arena shooters is pretty much a niche thing nowadays, but I think Ed will figure it out.
The third thing is, I believe id Software should have a good beta experience. The beta is going is going to have its faults. I expect weapon balance issues here and there, some glitches, and maybe something that can you know affect the game experience from not being polished. But I don't want anything that can really break the experience. I literally couldn't stand how buggy and broken the Halo 5 beta was. It was so frustrating to find matches always crashing. Always restarting matchmaking, and it just took me forever to get into a match. It was so bad that I spent most of my time playing Master Chief Collection because it was more playable at that time. I do, um, you know, believe the beta. I mean, the beta will be straight up multiplayer for, you know, uh, Doom, since arena shooters they're just, you know, a niche thing, and I think it will be a good test to see how many people will enjoy you know, playing it, and maybe it could do some other changes and tweaks to make it a robust experience for both, like, um, the old school arena shooter fans and see how many people will, um, enjoy it for the people that never really got to play those type of games. I also, you know, really want it to be multiplayer so I could make montages of the game. I got some fitting music that I really want to use for the beta, so... Yeah, we're going to see how that goes in the future. When it comes to the fourth idea I can come up, I really hope there's no pre-order bonuses or like any anti-used copy strategies. In Rage, there were pre-order bonuses and you can actually get them, but you have to um, you know, pay them for a ridiculous amount of price for it if you don't um, pre-order. I don't really remember the exact price, but it's quite expensive for the uh, bonuses that you get and it also decided to give a code to allow players to go on these sewer missions if you bought a brand new copy they were kind of like side quests I believe but yeah if you use the code for the sewer missions and decided to return the game and then someone buys that copy that person cannot play those sewer missions so yeah it did kind of things that I totally did not like and it kind of screwed the gamer in a way because they're missing content and they'll have to you know pay for an unreasonable amount of price to get those content which I'm sure is not even worth buying this type of strategy I don't really want to see it return so this is the fifth one and I'm gonna just end the list with five ideas the fifth one I basically want doomed to be better than what the quote-unquote modern id software uh, has been doing with Doom 3 and Rage. So, I liked the Doom 3. I knew, I mean, I know it, it was like a hate it or love it type of game, and so was Rage, but I was definitely more in favor of Doom 3 as a game, while Rage, I was more in favor of hating Rage as a game. I really think, you know, Doom needs to be really good to really make me admire id Software again, like... Um, if it turns out to be better than those two games, or at least as good as their older titles, possibly, I think I'm going to be fairly anticipated for their next games then. And it's definitely going to make me feel good as a fan, since I've been a fan of its software since I played Doom 1 and 2, and it made me realize how much I enjoyed uh, their games so much. That's another thing right there. I really want to feel proud of being an id Software fan. Like, I haven't felt good being an id Software fan for so long. Ever since Rage was released and I started trying out, I'm like, wow, this is what it is doing now. While back in Doom 3, I was like, wow, this game was awesome. Although, I did start losing my sense of love to Doom 3 the more I played it because I started realizing its flaws. But... I was still having fun with the game, and it was making moves in the gaming world. Like, it was their best-selling game. It won awards. It had an, I mean, it had a Xbox port, and it was a good one too. Like, the outcome seemed well for id Software when Doom 3 was released, while Rage did the complete opposite: layoffs, bad rumors about their new Doom game, and I think there was a rumor about Rage as a franchise was being a failure and such. So yeah, that is why I totally did not feel good as an id Software fan when Rage was around. 
that is all for the video. Tell me what you guys think, and I do feel like I might have a bit of a high standard or expectations from its software, but at the same time, it's Doom after all we're talking about, and it's made by the same people who created this. I mean the FPS genre and also have a high reputation for making great games in that genre. Hopefully the beta will be good and once we all actually play the real game, let's see how it fares. But I cannot talk about any of those subjects until, you know, they actually happen. Peace out everyone.